parents are supposed to be protectors of their children. However, every so often the roles are reversed. There are some absolutely amazing kids in our world who stepped up to the plate when their parents or other people needed help in emergency situations, showing bravery and composure beyond their young years. Check out this amazing list of children who have saved the lives of their parents as well as complete strangers. You'll never believe how a three-year-old was able to call 911 and save his dad's life. I owe him my life photo credit. Mikhail Tereshchenko backslash Tass backslash Getty Images Juan Zuniga is one amazing four-year-old. Juan's pregnant mom, Leticia, is diabetic and one day she had a scary medical episode. Her blood sugar suddenly dropped, however, she had prepared Juan in case of emergency. He immediately knew what to do. Juan checked her blood sugar and gave her food until she gained enough to give him further instructions. Juan then helped his mom call 911. Unfortunately, she went into a diabetic coma, which can be life-threatening, but due to her little boy's quick actions she was able to recover. Leticia told Fox 8 in Cleveland, To me, I owe him my life. I gave him life and now I owe him my life. Bravery bigger than a bull photo credit. God Dong slash Uig slash Getty Images 10-year-old Tom Phillips exhibited bravery bigger than his years after his father fell into dire straits at their family farm. While working the cattle, Tom's father Andrew was attacked by a bull which tossed him and began trampling him. Bulls are known to be particularly ornery and need to be handled with caution. Tom knew he couldn't approach the bull on his own. He quickly jumped aboard his dad's nearby tractor and drove it towards the bull. Tom had never driven the tractor before, and luckily it scared the bull off. Tom then rushed home on foot to get his mom and call for help. Andrew was significantly injured with 10 broken ribs and other injuries. However, Tom undoubtedly saved his father's life. Tom's mother told the son, he can be immensely proud of himself. He's my little hero. The Heimlich hero photo credit. Irfan Khan slash Los Angeles Times slash Getty Images 11-year-old Keith was able to save his mom from a near-choking death. Keith's mom, Janine Corbett, was eating a chocolate bar when a portion became lodged in her throat and got stuck. Keith asked his mom to give a thumbs up if she needed help. She gave the sign and Keith immediately jumped to the rescue. He gave her the Heimlich maneuver, and he performed it well enough that the chocolate immediately went flying. Janine was extremely lucky to be saved by her son. When asked about the event, Keith said, I don't know why I was so calm. It is not like this is something that is normal for me. I can't explain it, I kind of just knew what to do, so I just did and my mom was fine. The magnificent three-year-old photo credit, Anka Thomas slash Elstein build slash Getty Images Aaron Hayes was at home working on a wood project when he cut his arm with a chisel. The wound was extremely serious, he had cut the main artery in his arm. Luckily for Aaron, his three-year-old son was nearby and knew that his dad needed help. The little boy, AJ, had already been taught about 911 and he put his knowledge to good use. The toddler called the line and told the operator, Daddy needs help, he's been hurt. You have to come. He really needs help. Thankfully for Aaron, emergency services quickly arrived at the home and were able to rush him to the hospital to stop the bleeding. Aaron later told Oregon's ABC7, I couldn't be more proud. My earthly angel photo credit, Roberto Machado Noah slash Light Rocket via Getty Images 6-year-old Latrell Shanes is yet another amazing kid who was able to save his mother's life due to his quick thinking. Latrell's mom Tiffany Saunders suffers from diabetes. One day she collapsed due to her low blood sugar. Luckily, Tiffany and her son had practiced in case something like this happened. Latrell later recalled, I said, Mommy get up, and she did not get up. Latrell called his father who then called the police. He also went to go find a neighbor and then called police by himself for the very first time. Latrell used the scenarios he and his mother had practiced in the past as a guide of what to do in this real-life dangerous case. Tiffany credits Latrell for saving her life and told WTKR, he's my earthly angel. The power of teen girls photo credit, ABC News Hannah and Haley are two sisters from Oregon, 
where their father owns a farm. Like any good farmer, their dad Jeff tends to the land with his tractor. One day in 2013, tragedy struck after a freak accident occurred, causing the tractor to flip over and land on Jeff. He was trapped under the 2,000-pound machine. The two relatively small teen sisters jumped into action, although they were only 16 and 14 at the time. The girls called 911 but realized they needed to act as quickly as possible in order to save their dad. They miraculously managed to lift the tractor off their dad, saving his life. Dad Jeff summed up the amazing feat when he said, To think of two fairly small teenage girls being able to do something like that was incredible. I don't know if I'd be able to do something like that. The Pizza Slap Photo Credit, Comedy Central the Daily Show with Jon Stewart via ABC A quick-thinking little girl named Rita Lawler found her mother unconscious and unresponsive in their house. Despite being only seven years old, she immediately sprang into action and attempted to wake her mother. One of her rather unorthodox techniques included slapping her mother in the face with a piece of pizza. Unfortunately, the pizza slap didn't work, and she used skills to talk to her by her mother to call 911. She also stayed on the phone and stood outside the house to lead the EMS team to her mom. Luckily, after the scary medical incident, Rita's mom is doing just fine. Rita was later given an award by the Sarasota County Fire Department for her bravery. With the help of Technology Photo, Sebastian Viedman slash Bongard slash Getty Images kids today become well acquainted with technology at a young age. For one four-year-old boy, this turned out to be a real lifesaver. His mom had a medical emergency and collapsed on the floor. The four-year-old was able to use his mom's thumb to unlock her iPhone and then asked Siri for help. Although it took some time for police to locate the address, they were eventually able to find the young boy, his mom, and his younger siblings. Luckily for mom, she recovered from her illness. In this case, the little boy's knowledge of technology was a true lifesaver. Bravery beyond her years photo credit, James Worsfold slash Getty Images Samantha Christian was 10 years old when a terrifying situation struck her family. The flickering of a growing fire woke her up. It had started from a portable air conditioner in her room. The youngster immediately knew what she needed to do. She woke up her mom and then carried her little brother to a neighbor's house, but another brother was still inside the fiery inferno. With bravery beyond her years, Samantha went back into the house to get the four-year-old boy. He was sound asleep, so Samantha carried him out and to her neighbors. She then entered yet again, to urge her mother to safety as she attempted to put out the fire with water. Despite losing their trailer, the family escaped unscathed. Samantha told the Daily Mail, clothes, metal, jewelry, all sorts of stuff can be replaced, but humans can't. Samantha said, Cub Scout to the rescue photo credit, Arkansas Fox 16 Damian Kisselberg was heading home from a Cub Scout meeting with his dad Gus when the unthinkable happened. The two were involved in a horrible car accident, nine-year-old Damian soon realized that he was not injured, however, the same could not be said for his father. His dad was bleeding badly and clearly in a lot of pain. Damien's Cub Scout skills came in handy because he immediately put them to good use. Damien ran to his grandparents' house which was only a short distance away. However, they weren't home, so he then ran another half mile to his own home where his mother called for help. His father ended up needing surgery but he recovered. Damien's mother spoke to Arkansas's Fox 16, there are some adults who wouldn't know how to act. And here's my nine-year-old boy who saw his dad needed help and he went and got help. CPR class pays off photo credit, Fox 5 Atlanta When Shardy Simmons was 10 years old she took a CPR class in school. The knowledge came in handy three years later when her father, Glenn Simmons, suffered a massive heart attack. Glenn was unresponsive, and his wife told Shardy that her dad wasn't breathing. Shardy immediately began to attempt to resuscitate him with the CPR she had learned years earlier. Meanwhile, her mother called EMS and waited for them to arrive on the scene. Miraculously, Shardy was able to keep her father alive and likely saved his life. Glenn later spoke to Fox Atlanta and said, It was a situation where seconds counted, 
and if I had not received help immediately from my daughter and my wife, I wouldn't be here. The love of a sibling photo credit, at Church Brothers, GoFund the church family was moving from Michigan to Texas in a caravan. In one vehicle was Glenn Church and his two stepkids, five-year-old Isaiah and two-year-old Jeremiah. Sadly, they ended up in a horrific accident and the vehicle caught on fire. Glenn was killed instantly in the crash. Five-year-old Isaiah knew he had to save his brother and found him buried under debris. Isaiah pulled his little brother to safety and likely saved his life. The boy's grandmother told people, he's an amazing little man, he's always watching out for his little brother. He loves his brother so much. Little Jeremiah suffered burns but will recover from his injuries. Isaiah later received an award from the Houston Police Department for his heroic actions, taking control of the situation photo credit. ABC News young sisters Natalie and Lauren were on the road with their father when they suddenly realized that something was wrong with him. Seven-year-old Natalie began to ask him questions that he was unable to answer. Soon he began to drive more erratically. Natalie climbed into the front seat and got her dad's cell phone to call 911. The operator was able to locate the vehicle and the family worked to bring the car to a stop. It turns out the father was in diabetic shock and quickly needed medical help. Both Natalie and Lauren were able to save their father's life that day, not to mention their own, by remaining calm. Lauren told ABC News, I was trying to keep her calm, I was telling her everything would be okay, try to be brave, pray to God. Another choking scenario photo credit, WABC slash CNN when Chloe Olson was five, she spent the day at home with her mom, her mom was munching on some potato chips when something terrible happened, she choked. Chloe was the only one in the house, but despite being only five years old she knew she had to do something, she called 911 and mistaking the operator for her father, said, Daddy, mommy's choking. That was enough for the dispatchers to realize that someone was in trouble. They had Chloe open the front door and wait for help, adorably, Chloe responded with love you, bye. Soon emergency services arrived and Chloe's mom completely recovered from the scary ordeal. Boy takes on robber's photo credit, ABC 717 year old boy put on a show of bravery that many adults couldn't in the face of absolute terror, burglar staged an invasion while his family was home. Jaden Kanka, 9, quickly hid in the closet. He heard his mother and her boyfriend talking to the robbers and understood that they were in danger. Jaden managed to slip out a window and run to a neighbor's house to get help. The neighbor then called the police, who caught the bad guys red-handed. Jaden's fast thinking saved the day. Australian siblings save mom photo credit. 60 Minutes, Channel 9 and yet another display of heroism. Five siblings banded together to save their mom from her abusive boyfriend. After Daryl Fields attacked his ex-girlfriend Rachel Moore and pulled out a shotgun, the kids knew that they had to act, they physically attacked Daryl to protect their mom. The 14-year-old put Daryl in a chokehold, the 10-year-old elbowed him, and the other teens were able to take control of the gun, the 10-year-old got their mom away and tended to her wounds. Meanwhile, the 4-year-old pulled away his younger sister to protect her. All were lauded for their brave actions. Intriguing to the rescue photo credit, Mark Macaulay slash Corbis slash Getty Images Jail and Emmett suffers from a heart rhythm disorder which can sometimes lead to scary situations. When her husband was deployed with the army she suffered her worst episode yet. Jalen was unable to reach out to anyone to come help her but luckily her five-year-old son Tregan was on hand to help his mom. Tregan called 911 when his mom collapsed and spoke to the dispatcher until emergency services arrived. Tregan also acted to save his younger brother Lincoln who was alone outside at only 15 months old. The next thing Jalen knew was she woke up in the ambulance. She is alive today thanks to the actions of her young son. A true heroine photo credit, Klassen slash Elstein build slash Getty images all too often, the heroin epidemic makes news after parents put their kids at risk, such was the case of a 9-year-old in Ohio. After her parents had overdosed on heroin and were nodding out as they sat behind the wheel of a vehicle, the little girl grabbed the cell phone and called her grandmother. The grandmother recalled that during that scary call her granddaughter was frantic and afraid for her life. 
her grandma called authorities and then the nine-year-old called the police herself. They were soon able to track the cell phone to a parking lot. The parents faced charges for putting the young girl, and others on the road, at risk. Riley to the rescue photo credit, visual China group slash VCG slash Getty images like many other five-year-olds, Riley Brayden loved to be in the pool. One day she was swimming at a hotel in Destin, Florida nearby a couple and their two young daughters, Riley saw their 18-month-old fall into the pool and immediately reacted. Rather than scream out for an adult, Riley dove and saved the girl herself. Riley recalled, there was no lifeguard, and the girl's parents were lounging by the side of the pool with their clothes on. She continued, when I brought her up, I shouted, I've got the baby. I've got the baby. Thankfully the baby was fine, and the parents were more than grateful for Riley's quick thinking. This apple didn't fall far from the tree, as her own parents used to be search and rescue divers. She received the Girl Scouts Life Saving Award and a golden key to the city for her heroism. Unsurprisingly, Riley says she wants to be a lifeguard when she grows up. Saving his little brother photo credit, at Knurl, Instagram as Nebraska mom Lindsay Knurl made dinner for her three boys, an emergency struck. The boys, Micah, 4, Matthias, 3, and Moses, 11 months, were watching TV. Soon Micah came into the kitchen to find her and said, Mom, baby Moses needs help. At first, Lindsay didn't realize the seriousness of the matter until Micah again urged her to come look. She was shocked at what she found. Moses was being strangled by the blind cord and was struggling to keep breathing. Luckily, Lindsay found him just in time and Moses completely recovered from the scary ordeal. Lindsay says, Thank goodness Micah came to get me so quickly. He saved Moses' life. 